welcome to Oakland Is. Oakland Is spotlights, spotlights movers and shakers and image makers, people who make a difference every day in ordinary ways and in spectacular ways. On the, get, the show today, we have one of those spectacular persons. And this is an article about Mr. Mike London. And uh, with him is uh, his assistant, Miss uh, Alicia Harrell. Alisa Harrell. Uh, Alisa Harrell. Yes. And she helps a lot with the, the whole exception to the rule. This is an, an article written by the Merrick College reporter back in May of 1979. At that time, Mr. London was called London Exception to Rule. And this article talks about his experiences. And evidently, I think you were born in New Orleans? Yes. Could you tell us a little bit about your life, that, who, who, your life and who you are and what you're doing? First of all, thank you very much, Dr. Cannon, for allowing me to be here. I really appreciate it. <laughs> As you stated earlier, my name is Michael London. I was born in New Orleans, Louisiana. I came to California at a young age in which I attended public school here in Oakland. I went to school at Washington Elementary School, Claremont Junior High School, and Oakland Tech. I eventually went to college up at Merritt College um, in 1979, in which I learned and excelled in tennis uh, at Merritt College. I eventually got a tennis scholarship from Merritt College to a college in New Orleans. I went there briefly. After that, I started playing tennis satellite tournaments and tournaments for um, points and rankings. Eventually I ended up turning pro briefly and um, that's pretty much it. When you say briefly, what does that mean? Well, when I call it, when I stated briefly, I actually played for like six, seven years. Wow. I actually played tournaments for money for about six, seven years. Really? Yes. I won every tournament in the Bay Area I've won the PCC, which is the number one black tournament in California. I won the NAACP national tournament also, along with other major black tournaments. And today you kept up with Regina, was it Serena and her <laughs> sister? Serena, Venus, Venus. Sloan Stevenson's, uh -huh. and there's other uh, professional tennis Newcomer. players also, yes. Okay. Now there's something that you're going to be doing that relates to a newspaper article. Could you share with us, uh, Ms. Harrell, what that is? The Oakland Post features you in that article uh, on the page seven. This was August 7th uh, through the 13, the year 2013. This is up to date now. Yes. And it says, pick up tennis rackets, not guns, says former athlete. And this article talks about you, and it has your photograph in the newspaper. Yes. That's in that paper, uh, Oakland Post. And I hope you can see it so that the audience can take a look at this picture of you, because this is a recent picture. Yes, that picture was taken of me uh, a couple months ago. Is that right? Yes. So do you still play tennis? Uh, due to my, uh, my amputated leg and my physical limitations, I do briefly play tennis sometime. At the present time, I'm not really physically able to play out there as much as I like to. But I do go out there and try to dabble and assist and be a part of the tennis community. When you dabble, what do you do, what do you mean? I go out there and try to <laughs> swing the ball and try to hit the ball. Oh, you do? Yes. Fantastic. Yes, amputated leg or not, I still go out there and try to swing and hit the ball. Now, can you tell us just a little bit about that, the amputation and some of the things that you have overcome? Because it is such amazing. Well, in the post, there's an article about me and uh, my organization, but yes. my, due to the fact that I fell four stories off my balcony in 2001, oh. and I eventually had to get my leg amputated. Within the last year, I've had a heart attack, spinal cord surgery. I was robbed twice in four days. And me and Mrs. Harrell, we started the organization, the Mike London Youth Tennis Spot, Raise Rackets, Not Guns. That's the name of our organization. Something you said about spot. Can you say that thing again, please? Well, we got together and we realized that the word spot is a terminology in which the quote-unquote youngsters like to or can relate to, like a spot. A spot is a location. 
and so we came up with the Mike London Tennis Spot. It's a, uh, we're part of the U USA, which is the United States Tennis Association. We have our own organization, which is part of the USTA. You have your own organization? Yes. Is that something new? Uh, Ms. Her Herrell? Could you well, tell us a little bit about it? It's, it's been going on for three years, um, mm -hmm. and we've been very active for the summer with um, organizing the Mike London Youth Tennis Spot in various places. Our first one was at the Defermery. Yeah, Defermery Park in Oakland. Which in Oakland. was June 15th. Mm -hmm. And the second one was with um, Bushrod Park, which was August 15th. Oh, that's, yes. And where we gave away rackets, balls, and t-shirts free to s students. Oh, you gave away tennis rackets? And, yes. And then what about the ball? Um, we give away the training balls. Uh -huh. And There's we, a spot on it. Is that what that is representing the spot? Yes. Yeah, the spot. Now, what is that again? Uh, the name of the spot. What is that? Well, that spot right there on the tennis ball. It keeps individuals focused on the ball oh. because we're catering to youngsters. Mm -hmm. And our organization, what we do, we provide free rackets, free T-shirts, free balls, and long-term tennis lessons to inner city inner city youth. Oh my goodness. Um, and these are youth rackets. Youth rackets. Yeah, they're yes. the shorter ones. Oh, sure. So how would the youth be about in the nine years old or something like that? Well, what we do, what we do, we provide different size rackets, different sizes of rackets for different individuals, yeah, for different size youth. We have uh, a professional tennis coach that's on our staff. And what she does, she has gotten um, the rackets sizes for different individuals, for different youth sizes. And her name is Barbara Lewis. Barbara Lewis. Barbara yes. Lewis. yes. She's oh, a certified coach. Certified coach. Who assists with um, coaching students. Wow. Yes. So the, do you work with different school levels or age levels? Well, what we do, we go to inner city neighborhoods, recreation centers, and basically what we do, we adopt a recreational center facility. Uh, the first event was at Defermery Park mm -hmm. in which we provided free rackets, t-shirts, balls, and lessons. But what we do, we, we, we supply in numbers. We give in numbers. The first event, we gave at least 50 kids tennis rackets and tennis lessons. We also provide face painting, lunch, mm -hmm. and as I stated, sorry, yeah, as I oh, stated. Oh, is that one of the events? Uh, yes. yes. And as I stated, we give long-term tennis care lessons to inner city youth and kids 10 and under. We provide a one-year membership to the USTA. That's all part of our program. USTA, the United States Tennis Association? Yes. USTA. Yes. So we're encouraging uh, kids to play tennis and kids 10 and under. As I stated earlier, we are providing free uh, one-year membership to the USTA. What? The membership is a national membership. Yes, uh -huh. in which uh, they'll be they'll be getting monthly supplies, monthly fun and games, and different literature pertaining towards tennis, and um, that's pretty much it. And how do you finance all of this? How do we finance it? Yes. So far, me and Mrs. Harrell has been paying for everything, everything out of our own pockets. Really? Yes. At the present time, we have not got any support from any individual or any organization. Is that because you didn't tell anyone about it? or? Well, it was my dream to do this, and because we knew at doing this, uh -huh. and we worked together as a team, we decided that we're gonna pull our resources together and do it on our own as, you know, as an organization as, mm -hmm. and also as individuals. Mm -hmm. So then the two of you have formed the organization. Yes. And then do you have members in the organization? Well, so far it's just me and Mrs. Harrell and Barbara Lewis. Okay. Yes, which is, she's the director, uh -huh. I'm the founder, and Barbara Lewis is the coach. The coach. Fantastic. I think that's wonderful. Once again, you're the, the director, director of the Mike London Youth Tennis Spot. Uh -huh. I also wanted to show the t shirts. Please, please. Um, if yes. you have time. This is the Mike London Youth Tennis Spot t-shirts that we give away to uh -huh. our youth. Uh -huh. um, and this one was given to our first event 
um, that was scheduled on June 15th. Mm -hmm. And we also have the BACS, which is a say no to violence. Oh, um, oh that's the gun in the middle. You're saying no to that. Yeah, okay. raise rackets, not guns. Uh -huh. Raise rackets, not guns. Yes. Uh-huh, racket. And love Oakland um, to express that, you know, there is a positive side okay. to this and that we want to make a difference and that we do care for our youth. Wow. That can be expensive, can it? It can, it can, mm -hmm. but it's also um, rewarding as well. And it has a heart in it too, the love yes. in it, Oakland. Yes. Oak always oh, spelled with the heart. Yeah, it's yes. spelled with the heart, yes. the O in love. You have a heart mm -hmm. and then you have a heart within hearts in Oakland. That's right, you have many hearts there, don't you? Yes. <laughs> wow, I love Oakland. In fact, Mr. Guy, who produces the show, has written a song called, I Love Oakland. I'm looking forward to That's hearing good. that. And the TV show Oakland Is was composed by Mr. Guy in collaboration, I believe, with another musician. But the song is called Oakland, the first line says, Oakland is a stranger's paradise. Then there's another line way down below that says, Oakland is a place to lose the blues. And I thought <laughs> it has such beautiful lines to it. Yeah. But yes. He's so creative, Mr. Guy. And when he told me that you were going to be on the show today, I said, wonderful. And then you have another one that is green. Yeah, we have a green one for the last event that we did, which was um, at Bushrod Park. And those are tennis shoes, I believe, on the... the this uh, is actually um, Mike London Youth Tennis Spot. Um, you have um, a net here, yes. and then you have animated tennis racket, and which is a female. Her name is Racket. Oh. And then you have um, fuzzy, which is the ball, the boy ball. <laughs> okay. And which one is the, the girl? Uh, uh, racket is Miss the racket. London. That's yeah. Miss London. Okay. And then, oh, no, Mike. That's Mike London. Yeah, this yeah. is Mike London Youth Tennis Spot. Oh, my gosh. And then you have an animated racket, animated ball, which is racket, and fuzzy is the ball. Now, this appeals to what the uh, early elementary school or middle school? Or? Well, right now we're catering from 9 to 15, excuse me, from 7 to 15 years old. Seven to 15. And the reason why we have two different color shirts is because, as I stated earlier, we go to different recreational centers, yeah. facilities in the Bay Area, mm -hmm. and for each center we, uh, we have a different color shirt. You do? Yes. Now, is that expensive to have different colors? Yes. 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 Well, your dedication and your generosity is just a phenomenal. Thank you. Yes. So are you finding that you need uh, to have a, a contributions or people? Charitable contributions are always welcomed. How do they make those available to you or get them to you? At the present time, we have an account set up at Bank of America, and it's under the Mike London Youth Tennis Spot. And at, at the present time, I don't have, I don't know the account number. Yes, I'd like to personally thank Mr. Guy. He's yes. been very supportive of our, of our organization. Yes. And I'd like to thank him because he's also, also has been very helpful towards me as a, uh, as a man. That's right. So I'd like to thank Mr. Guy personally. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank yes. you, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so I'm thinking that what this is about is, this is very unique uh, because I have not heard of anything so generous in quite a while. So far, this summer alone, the Mike London Youth Tennis Spot has given and have taught over a hundred kids tennis rackets in the Bay Area. Uh -huh. In Oakland alone, we're catering only to the city of Oakland at the present time. Uh -huh. We found out that Oakland youth really need some type of guidance and structure. And me being the, the type of tennis player that I was, I found out that if we can provide inner city youth with some type of structure at a young age, they will prevail as life goes on. Mm -hmm. So that's what we do. And you came to Oakland when you were nine years old? I came to Oakland when I was like maybe six, seven years old. Oh. Yeah. So then you, your heart is in Oakland. That's why we came up with the heart within a heart on the t-shirts. The heart within a heart. The, the heart, heart within the heart. The heart within the heart. <laughs> well, I'm glad you The heart that. of Oakland. <laughs> yes, it's a heart within a heart. But, uh, yeah, because yeah. I really think that people uh, who are from Oakland and have that experience, they know that this is the laboratory for the nation in terms of creativity, uh, persistence, uh, being exceptional, 
And it sounds like you are one of those trailblazers from Oakland. Oh, yes. thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. I thank you. Yeah. So then in terms of the young people, have you any that have you've worked with, even though you just started the organization two years ago, I believe? Yes. Have you seen any of them begin to take on this opportunity? Well, uh, so far, yes. I have a story to tell about a young man okay. from my last event. Okay. Uh, he had never played tennis before. And he came to our events and we gave him a racket. And the next, later on that night, he wanted to uh, wear his t-shirt to bed. And his mom said, no, you can't wear your t-shirts to bed, right? Yes. So he, put, he took his shirt off. And when he went to bed, his mom went into the room to check on him, mm -hmm. and he was holding his tennis racket oh. in his hand while he was asleep. Uh -huh. He had never played tennis before. So um, the next morning, he got up, and his mother heard some rumbling in his room. So he walked out of his room and said, okay, mom, I'm finna go. And she said, where are you going? He said, I'm finna go play some tennis. Mm -hmm. And she said, did you clean up your room? And he said, yeah. So he walked into his room, <laughs> walked into his, her son's room, mm -hmm. and the room was spotless. Really? And she was like, well, go ahead and play some tennis then. Uh -huh. He had learned tennis the day before, oh. right? Uh -huh. And now he was motivated to play tennis. And that is one of the stories that inspired me to, and Mrs. Harrell to keep going. Uh -huh. So he was motivated to clean his room also? Is that something new, different? Well, he wanted to play tennis so badly, yes. and he knew he had to clean up his room. Oh, before so, he could go outside. Before he could go outside and play. <laughs> yes. So what he did, he got up and went and played, uh, cleaned up his room mm -hmm. before his mom asked him to clean up his room so he can mm -hmm. go play some tennis. Mm -hmm. So in your career, when, when you were playing, you were a professional, weren't you? Well, I didn't start playing professional tennis until I became... Um, in my 30s and by tennis uh, age mm -hmm. it, you're kind of old playing tennis uh, I didn't play the big times I played more of the satellite smaller tournaments oh. tournaments for like ten to fifteen thousand really? dollars I never made it to the big time I was basically too old so the tournament you would win the whole amount you're by yourself 15, no. no 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 I won and I played uh, a lot of the local tournaments for uh, ranking and points and status. Uh, as I stated earlier, I'm one of the few tennis players that can say he won everything. <laughs> Every tournament that an individual can think of in the Bay Area, I won. Did you play with Lionel Wilson, who used to be the mayor of I Oakland? did play with mm -hmm. Mayor Wilson several times. Mayor Wilson was pretty good to me. When I started playing out, he supported me and my tennis career. And Dr. George Herring at Merritt College? And Do Dr. George Herring is a great man and a great tennis player. As a matter, as a matter of fact, when I first started putting my tennis uh, uh, organization together, at our events we have mm -hmm. guest speakers, oh. and I uh, was trying to get in get in contact with Dr. Uh, Harrington to speak at our event. Oh, good. At our events, we have guest speakers. Mm -hmm. We have face painting also. So is something coming up very soon? On September 28th, yes. we're giving a Mike London in conjunction with the USTA Fun Day. And that oh. Fun Day will be at uh, Athol Tennis Courts by Merritt College. It's near Merritt College. Uh, excuse me, by Merritt Bakery. I Merit, apologize. Oh, Merritt Merit Bakery. Merritt Bakery, yes. Oh, there's a tennis. There's two tennis, tennis courts, courts uh, right uh -huh. across the street from Merritt Bakery. Okay. And we're going to give a USTA fun day there. We encourage the community and Oakland youth to come there and participate in tennis. They'll be learning tennis also. And you gave Mr. Guy all of the contact uh, information. You have a website. Uh, we're at the present time we're putting all of that together we are just now starting and you have an, e an email address yes we do have an email, do have address. An email address yes could you just say it what it is it's alisa harrell at comcast.net that's a-l-i-s-a h-a-r-r-e-l-l at comcast.net okay one more time please um alisa harrell a-l-i-s-a h-a-r-r-e-l-l at comcast Net. Okay, I'd like to thank you, Mr. London, for uh, just making this information available because I think information is power. Yes, yes. it is. And sometimes that's the secret. <laughs> it's not a big secret, but it's a secret sometimes. 
but yes. you're helping, helping people to know opportunities are just waiting for them. Yes. So I hope you'll get some phone calls or some email uh, messages. Well, that would be nice. Congratulations Thank for you. what you're Thank doing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Your heart is amazing. Yes, we want to make a difference. The heart. Thank you.